ladies and gentlemen and peons of all ages. My name is Misha. I am with the We Know Gypsy's belly dancing troupe. And we have here Jane the Fool, one of the most famous fools in the world. And she's going to give you a little introduction to the Renaissance Fair and uh, some of the acts here. And basically be her fantastic entertaining self. Jane? You are too kind. And in fact, I've heard that you are all kinds. Well, you're paying me enough to be. <laughs> Welcome to the Janesville Renaissance Fair. And I'm Jane. So that makes it my bill. Indeed. I was going to call it Janestown, but everyone said that was a terrible idea. Something about people drinking something and then falling over. I've no notion. But welcome to Janesville, where the only law is feeding ducks geese. Pre Did I get it backwards? I forget. At any rate, we've got exciting characters from all throughout an array of centuries. I think we've got the 12th century, the 13th, the 14th, the 15th, and whatever it is that you want to bring as well. We've got food vendors galore, they've got anything you want to eat on a stick, and these amazing little donuts. I couldn't get enough of them. They're completely outstanding. I have to watch my figure, you'll know. They will enslave you. They're really alarmingly delicious. And there's beverages and acts of all sorts of entertaining types. There's musical acts. There's Bounding Maine, the internationally famous shanty singing group. And, and they've got twins. There's these two identical twin girls. Female twins. Yes, so everyone likes twins. Twins, Basil. They, you have to pay extra for that part of the tent. Exactly. Uh, what else? There's members of Her Majesty's Court. There are members of the military. There are... Um, who else is there? There's loads of people. There's Robin Hood and Little John. There's Robin Hood and Little John performing musical acts as two merry, merry men, men and seven deadly sins. Indeed, and they perform all of the sins on stage for your amusement and pleasure. And edification. Indeed. It's a very educational exactly. sort of program. Exactly. Uh, very, very solemn and religious, of course. Indeed. Um, also, there is a children's kingdom with uh, entertainment for children of all ages, including... The seven deadly sins. Yes right next door, but also the fairy godmothers. Oh, right. Though. And they have this amazing game that has to be played to be believed. And there is... So a, do I. Exactly. You've Funny got enough. To, yes, they've got this bowl and you've got to throw things into it. Well, my game's a little different. Yes. And there are, there's knife throwing and axe throwing for charitable uh, organization. There's a men's shelter that receives uh, charitable donations through your uh, viewing their escapades and participating as well. Loads of things to do for all so all types of tastes and all ages. Well, it's appropriate that then we are going through the 12th through the 15th century, so exactly a few hundred years to take advantage of all of that. There's one group that's like a they're reenacting a century like the 12th century. They're all covered in furs and they have a language that's composed entirely of consonants. Really, they're yes. not just from Eastern Europe. They could be. Oh. I might be mistaken. I am an idiot after all. Well, yeah. but I'm a professional idiot. Indeed. I'm an I, idiot with I'm a difference. An, I'm an amateur. I oh. freelance. Huh? Do you really? Indeed. Well, that way you can work on your taxes more easily. You don't have to declare all your idiocy in one bucket. Exactly. I understand and sympathize. You can claim some of it as an educational expense. That's true. Studying other idiots, for example. I've tried to get uh, some dispensation as a non-profit organization, but apparently I'm not doing enough service for the community with my idiocy, so they didn't let it pass. Also, they didn't, it didn't qualify as a religion, which I had hoped. You should but try sitting on walls and then falling off. That fools them every time. Indeed, do I have to break in two million pieces and have trouble being put back together? No, you need not be that mythological. You Good. can simply be an idiot falling off of a wall. The suits you, sir. Sorry, I'm talking to someone off camera. I just that's, didn't have an outfit that's okay. Believe us, he is incredibly he amusing looks and it was very apropos. The and comments. earlier he was completely nude, so at least now he's got clothes on. That's mm. right. Welcome to the Renaissance Fair, boys and girls. <laughs> So James, uh, you've covered, been pretty comprehensive, you've covered a lot of what we can expect to find here at the Renaissance Fair. Is there anything you'd like to say about yourself or the sort of uh, work that you do? I know you get around a lot. That's my favorite subject, myself. Getting around. Yes, well, oh. why not? Well, I am, uh, I'm internationally famous. I'm not only the official municipal jester of the city of Milwaukee, but I've been invited back to Munkester Castle in Cumbria, in the north of the United Kingdom to participate in the International Festival of Fools as their lead walk-around act. They gave me top billing and a giant paragraph and everything. 
Fantastic, boys and girls, that just goes to show what you can do with a little hard work and an awful lot of alcohol. Exactly. And uh, I enjoy that I've made idiocy into a living. And I am just lost in your eyes, Jane. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought much. I had something in my eye. I have no idea. <laughs> Indeed, I, a lot of women have that problem. Oh! <laughs> ah! Out! <laughs> a lot that of women stings. have that problem with me, too. <laughs> No, the stinging is later. No! So. No, 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 no. This is all bad and wrong. You're ruining my G rating. <laughs> you know, don't what? even touch that. No. Just don't even. Oh! Too I'm late. just making it worse! <laughs> I've been told by a wise man no, that I no, couldn't no, touch no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> well, boys and girls, yes. I hope this has proved educational for you and that this <laughs> has you provided are. you with an introduction to the Renaissance Fair. Well met. Jane, uh, how can people get in contact with you if they want to? If they should so desire, I exist not only in corporeal reality, but also on the intertube. Fantastic. The system of tubes whereby people can derive information, the interwebs. You can find me at http colon forward slash forward slash full, p-h-o-o-l-e dot com forward slash. Or just go www.fool.com. All goes the same place. And will you be at the Bristol Renaissance Fair? I will indeed. Between now and then, I will be in Cumbria at Monkester Castle from May 28th through June the 3rd. And then I will be at Pride Fest at Milwaukee's Lakefront when that's happening. I don't remember the exact dates, but it's in early June. And then uh, the 4th of July parade in Bayview, Wisconsin, which is on the 5th of July. Sounds I suppose like, that's why I'm in it. Sounds like being an idiot is busy work. It really is. It's all a giant conundrum of constantly being in parades, waving at people and saying pointless things. It's and then it's the Bristol Renaissance Fair from the second weekend of July through Labor Day weekend, including Labor Day. Which is apparently when everyone has babies at the same time. Indeed. That explains the name. I'd always wondered. I, d I had no idea myself. But apparently everyone has babies on Labor Day. Fantastic. Why don't we all have the same birthday then? Uh, it would be inconvenient. Yes, it would. It would derail the entire economic system as well. Exactly. I mean, how can you buy somebody a dress like uh, buy everybody a dress like that on the same day? And then no commerce the rest of the year. Exactly. Too tedious. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for your time, Jane. You are most welcome, and I thank you for giving me an opportunity to jabber jaw with you. I always enjoy your jawing with me, Jane. You have a fantastic <laughs> mouth. Gramercy, I think. It's a good thing I carry a spare in case of emergency. Indeed. And I, I'd like to say that I'm proud of myself for looking you in the eye during this entire <laughs> conversation. I, I just find it amazing myself. Yeah, well, I try not to look at your mouth too much. I understand and sympathize. You might get lost in there. Indeed. I believe I, believe I hear cries for help. <laughs> help, I'm suffocating. How did that baby get head down in there? I have no idea. I don't know. Your Labor Day festivities. <laughs> yes, seems. apparently. I guess that's how it works. <laughs> exactly. That. It's, it's not the stork, boys and girls. That's really where babies no, come from. I am it's the sole Cleavage. progenitor of the entire race. <laughs> that's right. Welcome God help to us me. all. <laughs> oh, this is Misha of We Know Gypsies. And... Jane the Fool, Queen of Jesters and Jester to the Queen. At the Janesville Renaissance Fair signing off. We'll see you next year.